Good morning. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Um, I survived the weekend. Yay. Um, <clears throat> I had a daughter graduate and a son to get married back to back Friday and Saturday. And then our, uh, my daughter had a flute concert, her senior flute concert, uh, yesterday. So it's just really been a boom, 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 boom packed, uh, week and it went all so great and um i'm just very blessed feeling very blessed um in life and and so excited for for the futures of my children um it's going to be bright and just very thankful for all that god um has done and is doing in the lives and not only myself but but my children yeah and um so the message I got today is um, a little different, and it's it's more of talking about the support group that Create is starting. So Create Studios Education Training Center, um, the second and fourth Saturday um, of each month from one to three, we have um, a team of women, four of us. Uh, each in different walks of life uh, with different um, testimonies, with different deliverance, um, all of going from sinking to barely surviving to now thriving and um, showing others the way. So this team has gathered up. Uh, one's a mother of many children. Um, I am an educator, um, an entrepreneur, as well as uh, one who has been, um, I want to say, delivered and uh, tackling a lot of things, visions that God has given me uh, in ministry. And then we have one that has overcome uh, trauma uh, in a very, uh, very deep fashion. One is addictive recovery uh, expertise. Um, as well as relationships and other things. So we each bring something to the table and not sure what God's going to do, but we do know that he did appoint and anoint all of us to be at this place. So I'm excited. It's for women, all ages, um, just a support group. And what that means is if you're feeling alone, or you are surrounded by your environment where there's just not encouragement or there's not hope, um, or you have questions or you just need to cry or you just want to meet new people um, that are walking a life, trying to live their best life, trying to overcome, trying to um, be set free, uh, because the key word here is deliverance and freedom. And that's the vision of the support group is to empower you to not be chained to the things that have held you down your whole life. Uh, God never meant for you to just barely survive on this earth. You were meant to thrive. You were meant to be a testimony to his goodness and his love and his grace and his mercy and his power. So when he takes a person that no one's expecting and just turns their life upside down and transforms them in amazing ways and shows them visions and, and a way to, to help bring others out of that pit, um, then, you know, that's what this is about. So it's a group that... You will just feel so at home, comfortable, authentic, transparent. It's a safe space and it will give you the strength. God is going to use this as an encouragement to you, uh, as a strength to help you not feel alone because you're not alone. Okay. You, you might feel alone because there's no physical people here with you but God is with you and he's in your story and everything that you've gone through he's going to use I promise I promise he's using it all uh, for me and with me now and I could not be 
doing this video. I could not be a part of this group um, had I not received a word from the Lord um, that said, go, go, blind faith, go. You know, he knew I couldn't do. Uh, I kept going back and back and back. And, you know, my story, it's, it's one of very much, um, but, uh, and if you're in that support group, you'll, you'll learn more of that story. But the basis of it is it just kept going back to a situation that was really not healthy. Um, kept trying to get out for reasons, but for whatever reasons, um, I was cuffed and chained to, to staying there. And in life, we do that, whether it be a job, it be a relationship, it be a family member, that's just not healthy for us. Um, you know, I, you know, friends that you just keep going back into that friend circle. You know, I, I teach kids in an alternative school and I just keep hearing them say, you know, I quit being friends with them and my life got better because I wasn't doing some of the things that they were doing. Uh, but then I got stuck back in because I felt guilty or, you know, they were there for me when no one else was. And so I felt bad and, and da, 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 da. And guys, we do that. Um, but each time that we go back, I pray that we learn a lesson that each time you are gaining strength or you're getting wisdom or you're seeing a vision um, where God is going to be able to, when you finally break free, uh, because it will be inevitable. I mean, like if you're his child, something will break. Um, I mean, and if you don't do it, it'll happen because he's in your story and he's going to bring that work out in you. And so, you know, if he, you know, he might cause that relationship, uh, have problems. He might cause you to lose the job. He might cause friends to walk away from you. Um, you know, you might not be in control. Like it just might all happen to you. And then you just are like, whoa, like, did that just happen to me? Um, and you know, it's, it's kind of like, you really don't have choices. Um, I mean, you have a choice, like, well, sometimes you don't have a choice. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you just really don't, you just, you know, you get disregarded or, um, you, people walk away and there's no anything you can do about that. Um, but then there are those times that you make the choices based upon um, facts and, and, and things that you know to be truth and you make the choice uh, to God kind of shows you and puts people in your place and it just shows you the way in that you can you can leave well and um, if you haven't left well then most likely you will be back again um, in whatever situation that is you have to receive a word so that you never enter back in again. And God is not going to deliver you um, and put you in a worse situation. Um, if it doesn't open a door to better, then it's not it's not the right thing, not the right thing to do. Um, anyway, there'll be more talks. Um, in the support group, you will be able to share. Uh, of course, there'll be a time limit because, you know, Hopefully, there's going to be a lot of people there, and um, there'll be questions asked. Uh, you know, we'll we'll have um, just food, fun, fellowship, laughter, joy, peace, love, support. You know, uh, gentleness, kindness, all of those things that your heart desires and wishes you had. Um, it's not uh, a therapy session. Um, it's you know, by, by other people's lives uh, and the wisdom that they've learned. Um, there is life experience wisdom there and you'll be able to um, take notes and, and, and say, oh, wow, that's kind of like my life. And, um, you know, that's a good strategy or that's a good, um, that's a good way to look at that, uh, the mental mind flip. And so, this group hopefully is going to empower you to get out of your head, to go toward a growth mindset instead of a fixed one, 
uh, to not feel stuck, uh, to get out of the victim mentality, because guys, listen, you have choices. I, if I, I, I can't say that enough. You have choices. Yes, your choices will come with consequences, but some consequences, you know, I, I, you know, I was like, I really don't have a choice here. I've got, I've got to do what I've got to do regardless for my own sanity, for my own mental health, for the health of everybody else. This is a choice I have to make. No turning back. Whatever happens, happens. It's like, I really had to make that choice. And, uh, in my head, I'm like, I don't have a choice because that's the, that's the real choice that I had. Um, there was no, there was no wavering on that. So, you know, when you get that clarity and it takes people, guys, it takes people walking alongside you that's walking in the word and that is really a mature Christian as well as, you know, we will refer you to counselors that are professionally trained that can help you uh, during this time. And, you know, you're not alone. You don't have to be alone. It's a choice you're making. This is a great opportunity for you to step out. It's not like you're going into a counseling. It's not like you're going to a hospital. It's not like you're going into a church. You're going into a group of women at a studio who love you unconditionally, who don't even know you, but it's okay because it is what we have been called to do. So please come out one to three. The first one is on the 27th, Create Studios Education Training Center, 78 Old Main Plaza. Love to see you there. Share this video. We want this to reach so many women. So if you have a friend that's struggling, maybe you're not, okay? Maybe you feel like life's good, but maybe you have that friend or maybe they have that friend. Please like and share this video. We want so many women to get there that I have to move this place to another location um, that is bigger than than what my, you know, the space holds because I am the building. So, you know, my big thing is butterfly evolve, um, transform, uh, emerge, and all of that's going to happen if you stay dedicated and committed. And the first thing is taking that step. Don't be afraid, okay? Uh, don't be afraid and just step out. Step out of your comfort zone. Do something different, guys. It takes different to be different. It takes changes to make change. You cannot continue the same life expecting different results. That just doesn't make sense. I mean, like, really. Um, and God is not going to do what he has given you the ability to do. So... You know, he'll he'll walk alongside you, but he will not do what you're capable of doing. And that first step is like, guys, just show up. Say, I'm tired. I'm done. I need something different. I want, I want my life to change. Okay. The first step is just reaching out, speaking that out of your mouth recognizing you cannot do this alone, okay? And ask for help and go be and do. Surround yourself with people that are on the walk farther along than you so that you they can walk alongside you. Let us be your friend. Let us be there for you. We love you. We thank you. We're praying for you. We don't know who's gonna come, but we know that God will bring who he, he sees deemed to be there. And so, you know, I'm just so excited. We're all so excited. We, we had a, you know, a Zoom meeting yesterday. Um, and it was great, you know, getting together and talking about what, what's going to happen and what we need to do and how we need to show up and, and what the Lord's laid and put on our hearts. So, you know, yeah, just come, please. Excited to meet you. Thankful for you. God loves you. And... Have a great Monday.